What's good, YouTube? Mr. Beam Steam here with another tutorial. Here I have a picture of a model, and today's tutorial is going to be about, like, you know, resizing the body, making them a little, you know, smaller. Uh, basically, like, losing weight virtually. So we're going to go, this is the end result. So we're going to go from this to this. So you see the difference. And maybe I had like you know, a little detail on the lips. So I'll show you how I did it. So first off, make a duplicate of the background. Uh, you can do Control J or Command J on a Mac or drag it down to this little layers icon and it'll copy it. And you want to go to filter, liquify. Okay, so my brush size is around 150, brush density 63, and pressure 25. You don't want the pressure to be up too high. Around 20 to 25 is fine. And the pictures you use, you want to make sure that it works better with a solid background. So like when you liquefy, it doesn't like affect the things in the background. So let's just get started. All we do is just start, you know, working it, working this, the parts we want to condense. Is working them in. And just work it in. So we get like a nice curvature. And bring this side in. I don't want to bring it too much. That looks, that looks nice right there. Let's zoom out. That's looking pretty good. So, um, now let's kind of bring in the waist a little bit more. So we get that nice, you know, that Coke bottle shape. Uh, you want to make it look like realistic. Don't try to like overdo it. And then you like bring in the arms. Just so to match. That was looking pretty nice. I can bring it in maybe a little bit more. Alright, that looks good. So go ahead, OK. If you like what you see, all right. So you can see the difference. We did do a lot, so but we didn't overdo it. So we want to maybe uh, it's up to you. I, this is for this picture. I'm going to get rid of this like little crease right here. So you can use the uh, multiple tools for this, but I you like to use the patch tool. So pretty much all I do is select this little area right here that I want to get rid of and then drag it to a place I want to match it with. So I drag it there and then it takes it out. And then I take some of that out, drag it over here, get some more of this crease. And drag it up here. And we'll fix it a little bit, kind of touch it up make it look more realistic um uh, you get this little crease right here uh, it's kind of hard to do but uh, make it look really cool all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a brush and um I'm going to put it on a new layer, so I'm going to put like a uh, dress color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint over like some dark parts. So bring the opacity down real low to like maybe like 10. 
and uh, make sure you select the color so hold alt to grab a color from the dress click it and then just kind of color over so you see it kind of makes up to blend it in a little bit Or if it's not perfect, I mean, I'm just we're just kind of making taking a little crease out, and then maybe we can uh, see take something there, from, kind of dry it in, so it don't look so like had those creases there. And then um, it's gonna probably look a little fugly. I mean, you could take more time and, and edit it better yourself if you want. But uh, that's all I'm going to do, really, just for video purposes. So, yeah, I mean, we're already looking a little different already. So, I mean, we went from that to this. And, um, okay, then we go, let's go to the lips. New layer. Uh, let's see, lip. Lipstick. So we just take our brush tool with the same color we had, bring the opacity up to 100, and just, let's see, make it a little smaller, and just color over the lips. Don't worry about it if it's not perfect. It don't need to be. It don't have to be perfect. All right, so now we're going to go to the blend modes and then play with the blend modes. And I'm just cycling through with the arrow keys. That one looks cool. I need to erase some of the edges a little bit. Um, and then some for fun, maybe you get a little brush and uh, put it on another layer again because you don't want it to be on this blend mode and just name it like mold. And then maybe put like a little mold there. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So I'll uh, bring in, put in these, merge these down. So merge layers, just like. So there we go. I mean, it's pretty much it right there. Um, maybe try it on a picture you take and, you know, see how you can make someone look like super different. Just you know, with a little liquify and a little bit of lipstick in them all. So if you like the video, subscribe. Um, share, drop some comments, tell me what you think, tell me what you want to see next, and um, I'll keep some more videos coming. Bainstein Productions, Mr. Bainstein, I'm out.